most of you know this already, but at the young age of zero to five, I was physically abused and tortured as a child. Being 39 years old right now and having all that trauma in my body at a young age, it's really affected a lot of the decisions that I made when I was younger. I never felt loved. I had trouble in relationships. I had trouble trusting, right? Anytime a girlfriend would leave, I would feel abandonment issues in my body immediately. And facing that dark side, facing the shadow of those issues was one of the greatest blessings in my life. At a, the young age of five, I was praying in bed and I was praying for the normal things. You know, the, as a kid that we pray for, the goldfish, the guinea pig, grandma, grandpa, Santa Claus, praying for him because we wanted those gifts, right? As a young kid, our belief systems are so funny. And then I simply prayed to forgive the man that abused me as a child. And that uplifted me, my friend. It changed my life forever. Because had I not done that, my timeline could have been completely different. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is we want advanced tools, strategies, and techniques to really raise our vibration and our consciousness. But if we don't get that basic one first, if we don't forgive every single person that has wronged us, then we're continuing to repeat the same trauma cycles. We're wound on wound in relationship. We're wound on wound in business partnerships. We're attracting situations and circumstances so that those lessons that we came here to learn in the school of earth get repeated over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, relentlessly. And then some would say, I believe, you just show up again to repeat the same lessons. So wouldn't you rather wake up now and learn the lesson so that you don't have to repeat it over and over? Instead, you get to choose a more empowering timeline. All these memories that we made won't fade away for a while. You said you don't mind that you'll be just fine. So forgive, my friend. Is there somebody that you have not forgiven in this life right here, right now? Who is that person? Think about it. Maybe it's multiple people. Maybe it's a whole cadre of people. Maybe it's a hundred people. It does not matter. Because at the end of the day, once we nail in this forgiveness piece, once you forgive the person that has wronged you or the people, there's a higher level to it. And I didn't believe this. I was like, I'm, I can forgive it and forget it, right? Forgive and forget, we hear it all the time. But we're missing a very valuable piece. See, not only did I forgive the man that abused and tortured me and you know, held my head underneath the bathtub when I was a little boy, if I couldn't breathe, it pulled me up, I would cry, it pushed my head back under again. Terrible things. No kid should ever go through that, right? No child should ever go through that. So we have to forgive. We get to. We are beyond blessed to forgive. And then right after that piece of forgiveness, because when we have all these things that were, oh my God, you guys, look at this bug. It's a giant bee. <laughs> Just literally flew up in the camera. He wanted showtime. It's like that energetic bag of bricks. Carry it around, we carry it around. Every single person that has wronged us, we carry it on our back. And you see people as they age, they get like this. Row back shoulder, they're walking around like this. Ah, oh, that's energy. Their heart has been sealed off. You see people's posture, it's manifested in their body. Shoulders rolled forward, they're protecting the heart. Maybe your shoulders are rolled forward. You look in the mirror, you wanna change your posture. Who's that person you haven't forgive? You gotta lead with the heart, baby. Care Bear Stare, right? We forgive all the people. Even if they're here, call them up in this planet right now. If they're not, write them a letter, meditate on it, forgive it. If it was a child when it happened, see yourself as that inner child, letting it go as well. Breath work is powerful in these moments. When we're breathing, we can create a, uh, a portal to forgive in those moments that we need to. And once the forgiveness happens, then the next process is to simply thank the person, the people, the event, the situation that created that for you. It was a creation for you that you set out before you came into this place, this earth school, 
to materialize the perfect event. We could call it the event. So the event for me was a man, or was it a man, or was it me, right? When we look through the law of oneness, we know that everything is us. There's no separation. So it was me that came here to teach me that I could forgive the man that had done something so traumatic to me. That it was actually a lesson in thanking him. Because what it did is it imprinted all those wounds on my body. That wound is just a GPS. That's all it is. Trauma, it's a GPS. It keeps your heart going in the right place for your mission and your purpose. That's all it is. There's no other story outside of it. And when we stop telling the story as if we're a victim in it, right? You hear me talk about it, but I'm not a victim. It's not woe is me. I'm not energetically trying to get you to feel sad for me because that time has passed. Everything is energy, my friend. And the more personal power we build up in this life experience by forgiving, thanking, pulling ourselves into the present moment, always being here now, then that personal power starts to open up more freedom in the timelines, in the multi-dimensional you that you came here to fully express. So to recap this video, this morning walk, it's been absolutely amazing with you, my friend. I wanna encourage you. I'm not recommending this. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not your teacher. I'm not your guru. What I would say is search within your mind Find that one person or people that you need to forgive. Write them a letter or call them up, right? And there's a method for calling people up like this so that they're not freaking out, so that they're not all upset or triggered even more, creating more of a wound in the relationship that you have. If you guys want that, I can share with that later in a different video, leave a comment below. Um, and then also it's the thanking. It's a sincere gratitude. Gratitude opens doors. So getting grateful for the event. And the quicker you can turn a bad situation into gratitude, let me tell you, the situation changes before the eyes, before this reality that we're manifesting, that we're projecting from the inner consciousness, changing everything. We see the optimal timeline with our eyes. We speak the optimal timeline with our mouth. We feel the optimal timeline with our heart. And when we gather more and more people together with our heart, all feeling the optimal timeline, it's related to the world now, the bigger picture. And there's always a secret hidden agenda that I have with you, my friend. One is to get your personal container so clear, so free of any energetic disturbance so that this collective energetic container that we're creating together, that we chose to come into this experience to create together, comes in harmony, becomes stronger. So fix your own container first. If you wanna be the change to change the world, change yourself. It has nothing to do with anybody else. If you're perfect, then you can throw a stone, right? But until then, bring it back to the basics. Bring it back to you. If you got any value out of this video, tag somebody in it, share it with somebody, you guys. I'm just trying to get this message out there to as many people as possible. Uh, we need more allies on our team. Now more than ever, subscribe, Fit Life TV. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. I love you all so much.